Welcome to Russia. Fight Washington. <laughs> this is the moment you have been waiting for. My top five coin picks of April. If you've been a loyal subscriber to The O Show, you have alert set, you have liked my videos, and you are subscribed, you would know that in February and March, when I dropped the top coin picks of the month, most of those coins did incredibly well and exceeded our targets. And I made a lot of people a lot of money. So again, we are going to drop the top five coins for April. And I may have a bonus for you as well. Stay tuned, let's get into it. Most importantly, before we get started, happy hump day because it is Wednesday and this episode is going to help you get through the week because I found a lot of amazing crypto gems for you. But before we get into those, let's talk about Bitcoin price action because it looks like she is starting to correct a little bit and this is really, really good. A lot of you are probably thinking, Wendy, red candles, I'm scared. Don't be scared, you guys. This dip is actually going to be a blessing because when we remove some of this volatility from the market and after things settle altcoins will start to do incredibly well especially the ones that i'm going to be dropping to you today because they have very strong fundamentals as well so taking a look at bitcoin bitcoin is a little bit bearish and she broke below this trend line at about fifty seven thousand dollars as we were not able to hold support at about fifty eight Four. That's okay though. We haven't broken through this particular trend line here. Um, the area of support is going to be around $55,000, but it is looking a little likely. I have closed my Ethereum and my Bitcoin longs out. I was actually interested in buying the dip here at about $56,000, $55,000, and even up here at about $57,000. Um, but I went ahead and closed those out in slight, slight profit because I do feel like we may fall a little bit more. I could be 100% wrong though but i did want to close those positions just in case right now market cipher has printed a red dot on the daily and it is looking a little bearish we have the rsi the mfi heading down as well as a yellow vwap taking a look at the four hour chart four hour chart is showing that she wants to pop up a little bit but we haven't printed a green dot yet so I'm going to be watching the charts today and I'm going to be very, very interested to see what happens at this area of resistance at about 57,000. If we cannot reclaim this today, we will head down and we will retest 55.7 and possibly this area at about $55,000. If 55 breaks, we're going to head probably down to this range of the lower $50,000 area. However, a bullish scenario would be for us to reclaim 57,000 and then retest 58 later this week. So as far as Bitcoin goes, there's going to be a lot of volatility with the markets especially with altcoins so i'm going to take a step back and i'm going to watch what bitcoin is doing but i'm still going to also pay attention to these altcoins that i want to get in some of them i've already gotten in and see if i can get a better entry or add more to my position let's go over the five top crypto gems this first project is cope and i was actually given the airdrop which was amazing it was given to folks that were on crypto twitter you had to follow some instructions but the creator of this project is a really great friend of mine and is an absolutely talented dev. The cool thing about Cope is it is on Solano, Sol, S-O-L, which is a SAM coin. And if you know anything about SAM coins, they tend to do incredibly well. SAM is also one of the folks over at FTX absolutely robust platform and they continue to keep smashing the markets. Anyways, right now COPE is currently at $3.54. And if this is something you're interested in investing in, you're going to have to either go to the Serum Dex or FTX to go ahead and pick some up. So it's a little bit harder to get, but overall this particular project is going to do well. Go over to CoinGecko and search for COPE and you'll be able to find it there. But let's go ahead and talk about COPE price and where I think it's going to go. Again, COPE is a newer project, so we don't have a lot of price history. That is okay though. Right now we created a top here at about $4.08 and we're correcting a little bit and it looks like we're gonna head down to that EMA 21 at about $3.38. However, I also like this area of $3.13 to $2.95. And this is the four hour chart. I wanna show you guys the hour chart so we can get some more information about price data. MACD looks like it's ready to pop up. And unless we're able to flip this area of about 373, I think we may continue 
continue to head back down to at least 338. Again, I can be wrong, but I would be interested in buying the dip here because I've already got cope. I may add some down to these levels to the lower $3 area if we do get there. But overall, I anticipate cope is going to do incredibly incredibly, incredibly well um, quarter two, just because of the fundamentals and the backing that it has, especially that it's on FTX. Um, so as far as COPE long-term target, I'm gonna shoot for the FIB2 area. That is my go-to, you guys know. Obviously, yes, we do have areas of resistances we will have to break, but $6.63 as a target for quarter two would be fairly easy. Of course, a lot of people are gonna say we're gonna go a lot higher than that, 100% we totally could, but I like to give conservative targets on this show just because it's altcoins and altcoins can be a little bit volatile. So I see no reason why COPE cannot at least two times from here. Crypto gem number two, and we've talked about this particular project on the show a lot and I charted a lot and I had to add it in this video because I just see Matic Polygon doing incredibly well. If you guys are not familiar with Matic Polygon, basically it's going to help with the Ethereum network, making payments faster and cheaper. Taking a look at a naked Matic chart, we are in a strong consolidation period between about 41 cents to this lower area of 30 cents. And this is perfect, absolutely perfect for me. This is a nice area where I would be accumulating. Obviously, I would like to get in closer to 30 cents, but with current volatility with Bitcoin and a little bit of bearish price action, market ciphers telling me price could actually break through this floor of about 30 cents. If we decide to do so, the areas that I would be looking at would be about 19 to 24 cents. Again, that may not happen and we can actually drop to this area of support at 30 cents and then head up to 42. Overall, if you can get into Matic, I think it is an absolute gem. I have a fat boon bag of Matic and I actually see an easy target in 2021 of at least $1. So this would be about a three to four times depending on how low we can get it to go. So if you're able to get in on Matic on the dip, Matic Polygon, I highly recommend you consider checking it out and look up some of the fundamentals because I think we're, it's gonna be an easy $1. And I even have some people saying, Wendy, $1 is FUD. Well, we like to be conservative, conservative on this channel and if you can make more money on it, that's 100% fine. But I wanna present to you a pretty easy target. Our coin number three is going to be Tezos XTZ. And dear goodness gracious, let's hope this thing finally pumps, please, because she is taken forever. So we are on the Tezos US dollar Bittrex chart because that's what I have up. Now, let's go ahead and actually zoom out to the weekly for Tezos and see what is going on. So on the USD chart, it looks like we've actually broken all time high, which was over here about $4.92. And we had a nice run up to about $6.82. But can we go higher? I think we can. Looking at this price action here, if we draw a little bit of a trend line to one of these swing wick lows, we draw it up, we are in an uptrend and this looks absolutely great. However, again, with the volatility we may have, it could cause for a further bit of a drop and that is okay. So as far as Tezos goes, let's take a look at the daily and see what's going on. It looks like we may have a bit of a further drop and that is okay because we did just get that red dot printed on the market cipher that I'm using. So that's indicating some bearish movement. If we do drop to about $4.26, that would be a blessing. However, I would practice risk management here and watch for this trend line because if this trend line breaks, it could get a little bit ugly. So I would set alerts, I would monitor. But as far as Tezos goes for 2021, again, I'm gonna use that FIB2 area and I'm gonna call for $13.39. And hopefully this will play out over quarter two. Coin number four is going to be KSM, and this is a people's favorite. They're also on the Polka Scan Explorer dot. We love a good dot coin here. Anyways, as far as some of the fundamentals behind Kusama coin, I hope I didn't butcher that. It is meant to be Polkadot's coronary network, which is an early, unaudited, and un refine phase of Polkadot. It will serve as a providing ground, allowing teams and developers to build and deploy a parachain or tryout Polkadot's governance, staking, nomination, and validation functionality in a real environment. 
Again, you guys, anything that is built utilizing polka dots technology and that is an official partner has very, very strong fundamentals. Yes, there will be some sort of fakes out there. So make sure you always do your due diligence. But as far as price goes, taking a look at the chart, last time we charted this coin was all the way back in December. Can you imagine buying it at $50 and riding it all the way up? I know I didn't. And I'm starting to feel the FOMO. So I feel like now may be a good time. We're gonna go ahead and remove all of our drawing tools and see what current price is doing because it looks like we are here at about 448. And it's starting to look like we're, we're holding on to the EMA 21 fairly well. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my other EMAs for reference. And we had a really nice bounce up when we got into the swing low here at about 388. So support is holding well. However, we do have that bear cross on the MACD. Taking a look at our four hour chart, let's see if four hours got anything for us. We bounced perfectly on the EMA 200. However, we could dip a little bit more if Bitcoin decides to be naughty because y'all know that she does that. As far as areas that I would be looking to buy in, I like the swing, swing high area here back on March 11 at 339. And I also like this swing low area at about 275. If I can get it, I would probably enter in here. And I also like this area of 193. I'm not saying we're gonna drop to these areas, but these would be areas that I would be interested in buying because um, I don't like to market buy if I don't have to. As far as long-term price prediction, let's go ahead and go to the daily. We're gonna pull our fibs out and we're gonna see where the two fib is. And I know it's kind of, kind of trivial, but it works, especially in markets like this. I don't see why we can't get to $1,131. And again, this is not FUD. This is just me being conservative. And also to these areas of support that I've drawn, they kind of line up really well with the FIB um, retracements or extensions, depending on how you're using them. So these would be areas I would look to get in if we do continue to dip with Bitcoin. Either way, KSM is a very, very solid pick. My last crypto gem, and I'm actually gonna give you two more because they're from the same project. So Mute has been rebranded from Nix, N-I-X. So the new coin is called Mute. And they have a governance token, Voice, which we'll talk about very, very shortly after this. So this particular coin is available only on um, Uniswap, which is pretty, pretty standard. And we actually called this on Twitter last week. So if you guys got in, congratulations. If you didn't, that's okay too. But this is a very, very solid project. So Mute is the gas that facilitates growth of the ecosystem via the DAO. Funding proposals benefiting directly through a buyback make initiative. Liquidity providers also rewarded thanks to a 1% transaction fee guarding against and permanent loss and paid out incrementally via the Mute vault. So, and they also have an easy to use style ZK rollup, DEX, etc. Not going to get too technical here because I am planning on doing a project review later on. I really just kind of want to talk to you guys about price. So last week we called from 35 cents to about 424. Yeah, 43 cents um, was going to be our target areas, and we actually exceeded that, which I'm over the moon. I'm excited about. And now we hit a high of about 78 cents. Currently correcting here at about 63 cents, and we're up again. I'm going to go ahead and toss on my EMAs because they didn't save from the last chart we did. Whoops. Here we go. Okay, so these are EMAs, EMA 9, 21, 30, 100, 50, 100, and 200 down here. So as far as mute long tuner, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to draw a resistance area at about 78 cents. And I'm also gonna pull out my magical fibs. And you guys, you can do this too. Um, I draw mine a little bit different, but it all makes sense because they are symmetric. Anyways, as far as mute, I'm going to call again for about a dollar and 47 cents in quarter two because we are in a really, really nice uptrend. The EMAs, everything looks absolutely beautiful. However, if we do decide to correct, I would look between the EMA 21 at about 60 cents down all the way over here to about 43 cents. I'm not saying we're going to have a full retracement, but again, if Bitcoin is volatile and she is correcting, those would be areas I would look for. Um, or you can buy market buy, which I generally like to do that with 10% of my back. Either way, um, Mute is going to do incredibly well. Team is absolutely amazing. They have strong fundamentals and I don't see why it can't hit $1.46 easily. Also too, their governance token voice is part of the ecosystem and it's has pretty solid fundamentals as well. We're gonna go ahead and toss on our EMAs one more time. And let's go ahead and talk about where I think voice is gonna go. So we had a really, really nice run up, swing high here at about $304 back in February. And then we had a really gnarly drop, but we're up again. And it looks like we're above our area of support with our EMA tangles at about $100. So this is gonna be a very strong area of support for me. If I can get in at $92, I'm going to, or $100, 
I'm going to. I think it's a very, very, very nice area to get in. For me personally, again, y'all can do whatever it is you want to do. As far as my target for voice, I think, again, that we can at least minimum get to, to FIB at about $610 if we continue to climb up and if they keep posting bullish news, which a little birdie told me that they may be posting some more stuff. Anyways, this is the daily chart. Taking a look at the four hour chart, four hour chart is showing MACD where it wants a bull cross and head up. Again, you guys, I really like these areas of the EMAs to buy those dips. This would probably be the bottom area for me at 93 cents. But either way, I do think that voice is going to do well in quarter two of 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope these picks do well like the last two previous months. Again, make sure you practice risk management with these. Make sure whatever it is you decide to invest in suits your needs and works for you and your family. Set alerts on your phone. Do not trade when you're emotional. Don't trade when you're hungry. Log your trades, use a trading journal. Do not use high leverage if any of these have a bit capability to leverage trade. Also too, pay attention to Bitcoin because if she's correcting, these will correct as well. So just be very, very careful. Again, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.